Three and a half years after Hurricane Irene ripped through Schoharie County, local leaders say FEMA is still making them tear through red tape to get funding to rebuild. The jail, destroyed by floodwaters, still sits gutted and empty. Today, federal lawmakers visited the site to encourage FEMA to get moving. Jennifer Lukey joins us live now from inside that jail. Jen, the issue seems to be where this jail is going to be rebuilt. Yeah, that's exactly right, Liz. Just take a look around in here. This is the jail. It's totally gutted, as you uh, just mentioned. It's looked pretty much the same since the days following the storm. Basically, there were eight and a half feet of water in here. That receded. This is what was left. And since then, the county has been trying to rebuild. Now, obviously, prisoners can't be held here. So the county taxpayers are paying to send those prisoners to other county or to other jails in in different counties and the county says enough is enough they finally enlisted help of all of their federal lawmakers and the governor to try and get FEMA moving Where you stand now there was eight feet nine inches of water since that day we have not been able to get back to where we belong to operate the sheriff's office and the correctional facility the way they should be operating and that's because FEMA, the state and the county, can't agree on where to rebuild the jail. FEMA is likely to pay 75% of the cost if the county rebuilds in its current location. Anyone who was here on August 28th in this building knows that that would be a foolish mistake to put this facility back here. State, county and local leaders want to move the jail to higher ground out of the flood zone. What's the problem, what's the difficulty conceptually with moving a critical structure like this out of harm's way. It makes no sense. Especially since it'll cost $40 million to renovate and bring the current jail up to code and $37 million to move. For less money than it would cost to fix this, we can build a new facility on high ground just uh, a short distance away. While the negotiations and red tape continue, taxpayers are footing the bill, spending more than $80,000 a month to transport prisoners to other jails. Before the flood, Schoharie County was making nearly a million dollars accepting prisoners from other counties. You know, in a county of a little over 30,000 people, the tax base is not as expansive as it is in other places across the state and they're waiting on this decision and it's costing taxpayers. And these taxpayers already distressed trying to recover from personal losses following Irene need a break. Three and a half years is enough Congressman Chris Gibson says to decide what happens one way or the other. They have the resources to make this decision uh, and to address the needs. Now, we have just learned that FEMA will send a representative here to Schoharie County again next week. They will talk the, to folks here about the jail. They will also talk about the fire department. They're also waiting for money to relocate. We'll have more on that part of the story coming up tonight at 630. For now, live in Schoharie, Jennifer Lukey, CBS 6 News. Jen.